<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, I'm gonna be revealing seven of the best online remote jobs that you can land without a college degree in 2024. And even more, I'm gonna be sharing with you an important insight that makes these jobs good that many other jobs don't have. And more importantly, exactly how you can land them. Because I've been in a very fortunate situation to have helped thousands of people land remote jobs. People like Ben, who is a college dropout, who is working as a janitor, that landed an $80,000 a year remote job. And so I know exactly which ones are easy to get into and also which ones pay well. And these are the exact ones that I'll be sharing with you in this video. So go ahead, cheers the like button, and let's get started with number one on the list. So let's talk about originator support technicians. Are you looking for a remote job that offers flexibility, great benefits, and the ability to get your foot in the door in one of the best industries out there? Well, this might be the job for you because you're gonna be assisting mortgage originators by providing payroll, auditing, onboarding, and training support. And typically you're gonna be working for finance or mortgage companies. And this is kind of like being part of the pit crew in a Formula One race, except instead of taking care of the driver in the car, you're gonna be taking care of the mortgage originator as well as the deal itself. So you're basically just gonna be making sure that everything runs smoothly. And in this position, you make about 44 to $65,000 a year. Now that's not bad for an entry-level job that doesn't require a college degree or previous experience, but there's other jobs you can get into down the line that pay even better. For instance, mortgage operations specialists make about 52 to $77,000 a year, and mortgage operations managers make about 116 to $195,000 a year. So like I said, real estate is one of the best industries out there, and there are lots of opportunities to upgrade your career down the line. So overall, I do really like this one. It's not the best one on the list. I think there are others that are better, but it's especially good if you want to get into real estate. So I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a sales support specialist. And this position is basically the unsung hero of the sales world, working hard behind the scenes to make sure that every sale ticks along perfectly. And you basically assist the sales team by handling customer support inquiries, managing account documentation, and coordinating with internal departments. And you're typically gonna be hired by companies in technology, real estate, or financial services. Now, all of those are great industries, but technology is probably the best and most lucrative industry to work in. Technology is the only industry that has basically unlimited leverage. You can create a piece of technology that billions of people can use. And you can land a job in technology just like James did by taking the free training, which I'll put down in the description and the pinned comment below. And this will tell you all about how you can get into tech, the different types of jobs in tech, what your career path would look like in tech sales, and whether or not it's a good fit for you. So definitely check that out. But believe it or not, sales support actually makes about 52 to $81,000 a year. And that's because they play a crucial role in helping to close the sale. And on top of that, there's other positions such as sales support coordinator that makes about 53 to $78,000 a year. Then there's sales operations managers. This would be a logical position to move into down the line. They make about 95 to $165,000 a year. And there's even other positions that are relatively similar and have a similar skill set, such as sales coordinator. They make about 55 to $81,000 a year year and sales operations specialists, they make about 61 to $92,000 a year. So yeah, lots of opportunities here, both at the entry level as well as down the line. Sales is also the most common career that millionaires and billionaires had in their past. So it makes a whole lot of sense to get good at sales. This one gets a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a social media content creator. And it's not necessarily working on your own. You could actually be working for a company as well. And there's more and more opportunities popping up for this exact act job. And in this position, you would be creating and managing posts across various different social media platforms, such as YouTube, Instagram, etc. Now, social media content creators make anywhere from $38,000 to $64,000 a year in a job. And this can be an excellent way for you to learn the ropes and then start your own social media empire. And by the way, if you already have a YouTube channel or you want to start on YouTube and become successful, I'm going to be sharing exactly the tips that made me successful on YouTube this Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. So this is my way of giving back to the community because this is a question that I get all the time. So definitely attend that. The link will be down in the description and the pinned comment below. And I look forward to seeing you there. But there's some other positions that are somewhat similar. Social media manager, they make about forty-five dollars to $81,000 a year. Social media directors make about seventy-five dollars to $139,000 a year. And digital content creators make about thirty-nine dollars to $63,000 a year. So overall, this one is amazing. I think content is going to be the future. Marketers left and right are finding out that creating content is pretty much the best way to get views, subscribers, leads, sales, etc. Alex Ramosi even said, Said that creating content has been 27 times more profitable than when he used to run paid ads. And he was actually really good at running paid ads. So that says something. This one gets a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an e-commerce merchandising coordinator. 
here. And this is somebody who manages product listings, ensures accurate and attractive presentations, and collaborates with various teams in order to optimize online sales for a product. Now this is focusing on physical goods that are sold online, which is also known as e-commerce. And it's estimated that 95% of purchases will be made online by 2040. And that's only 15 years away. So there is a ton of opportunity for this type of career. And that's why it makes 56 to $79,000 a year. Definitely does not require a college degree. In many cases, it doesn't require previous experience, or if it does, you can get that experience relatively easily. And there's other positions down the line that pay even better. For instance, e-commerce merchandising managers make about 109 to $175,000 a year. And directors of e-commerce make 145 to $255,000 a year. So they're absolutely crushing it. So this one's pretty good. I think there's a lot of opportunities out there. E-commerce is incredibly stable. People have been buying physical products since forever, and they're going to continue buying physical products for forever. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, guys, while you're watching this video, comment below which one you like the most, which one you don't like, or which one I should have included in the video, but I didn't. There's a very good chance that I'll see it and I'll include it in a future video. Next is going to be a credentialing specialist. And this is another one of those random healthcare related careers, probably doesn't even sound like it, but basically they help companies to perform credentialing and re-credentialing activities for healthcare providers. And this ensures that the healthcare organization stays compliant. And they're typically gonna be employed by insurance or healthcare companies. And this is incredibly important, not only for the safety of patients, but also for a healthcare organization to be able to actually make money. Because if later on they found that somebody's credentials expired, that means the healthcare organization wouldn't be able to bill insurance. And therefore they just lost a ton of money. So that's why this position is so important. And credentialing specialists make about 47 to $67,000 a year. And senior credentialing specialists make about 61 to $98,000 a year. And then if you go all the way up to credentialing managers, they make about 76 to $137,000 a year. So yeah, they're absolutely crushing it. And this is yet another one of those random medical careers that are pretty good. They're not the best on the list, but they're you know, easy to get into. Nobody knows about them. They're pretty good. A lot of the time they don't require a college degree or previous experience. They do usually require training, but the company provides that training for you. So yeah, these are solid. I'm going to give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an information processing clerk. And this is somebody who's responsible for sorting, verifying, and storing data. And this ensures accuracy while maintaining confidentiality for companies that require meticulous data management. So it's kind of a catch-22 situation with data because you want it to be very easily accessed by the right people, but at the same time, you want it to be super safe as well. And achieving this is very difficult and it's basically a never-ending struggle. And there's been examples of companies that have had data breaches and it's costed them billions of dollars. So it's very important that companies get this shored up. And that's why this position makes about 41 to $57,000 a year, despite the fact that it doesn't require a college degree and typically you can get in without any previous experience or very limited experience. And a position you could get into down the line because this is a good way to get your foot in the door when it comes to the data industry would be a data analyst. And they make about 87 to $137,000 a year. So overall, this one's really solid. Um, there's some really good jobs you can get into down the line. There's honestly like a ton of other data related jobs that are great. I'm gonna give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a student services specialist. And this is somebody who helps students with academic advice, processing applications, and they also help to maintain student records. And this is kind of like a GPS for students, guiding them through the twists and turns of their academic careers. And hopefully, if you're a good student services specialist, you don't make them get a useless degree. But yeah, this one's pretty solid. Ironically, a lot of the time, it does not require a college degree, even though it's at a college, which kind of tells you a lot. And in this position, you can make about forty-three dollars to $59,000 a year. Now, a position that's relatively similar would be an academic advisor. They make fifty dollars to seventy three thousand dollars a year and down the line you could even become an administrative director they make 109 to two hundred thousand dollars a year so yeah this is another solid one i thought i'd include it because i thought it's funny that some of the jobs don't require a college degree but i'm going to go ahead and give this one a seven out of ten opportunity score and if you haven't checked it out already i did make a video on the 21 highest paying work from home jobs that are always hiring and you can check that out by clicking right here